Okay, so I've got an axe to make today, and that means I'm going to burn a lot of charcoal. So, perfect opportunity to show you how I make my charcoal. Here we go. Earmuffs on, I got my wood strapped down here. This is what we make charcoal from, mostly maple, sometimes we use oak. And uh, got strapped down with a rubber strap and uh, just gonna cut it into chunks. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to show you my charcoal kiln. It's a top lit draft stove made out of a 55 gallon drum. You see I've got a hole in the lid for a 6 inch blue pipe. This is lit on a 35 gallon drum that sits inside there. That's a piece of glue that sits on top while the thing's burning. I take all these lids out and have a peek in there. This is the inside of the drum. It's got a grate on the bottom uh, to let air through. Air comes up through the uh, wood as it burns from the top down. And then more air comes around the sides and across the top to burn off the smoke. I like to just take all the wood I cut and put it in the wash tub, bring it over. Dump it in there. Rattle it around. I find stuff up to about two, two and a half inches in diameter, maybe this long, eight inches. Uh, anywhere from four to eight inches long. It works great. Okay, I've got a little uh, weather shield here. It's just a third of a barrel sitting on top of my barrel. Got a little kindling fire, base of one lane, got some birch bark, more kindling. It's snowing and raining today, so I put this on here to protect the kindling fire. Once it's going well, no problem. Take the shield off. I think it's about time. Yep. That's good. Knock this down, screw it out. Am I used to working with fire? No, not at all. Alright. Now watch the steam. forgot I had my uh, earmuffs on there earlier. I thought I was Superman, more like Superman. I just forgot to take them off. Uh, no wonder I'm not cold. There it is. See all that smoke? No, you don't. That's steam coming off this, the uh, top of the barrel, but uh, you really don't see any smoke at all. You'll see a jet of flame a little later, and then when that dies down, it usually takes about two hours to make a batch of charcoal, and uh, so I can be working while the charcoal is being made. It's a pretty sweet deal. Alright, this is uh, Winter Storm Draco. I don't know who named it, but uh, I don't know. It doesn't seem like it needs a name to me. Just a little snow, a lot of wind. Actually, there it is. The wind's pretty wicked. Uh, we're a bit sheltered here, but you can see the flame there getting blown around a little bit. Uh, but this is about the best spot we have to do this, and uh, it's kept going. It hasn't been uh, knocked over or anything, which is really good. So, we're about two hours into it. I think I've got about a half an hour yet to see this little square hole here. Uh, maybe you can see it. I hope you can see it. It's a little window cut in the outside of the big barrel. Let's me peek in here, and uh, I can see a little glow on the bottom of the big barrel coming out the bottom of the little barrel. That tells me that uh, it's the fire is getting further down. Now I can also often see glow on the side of the little barrel in there, and that tells me that the fire has reached the bottom and it's time to shut it down. Okay, now what I failed to mention earlier in talking about how I knew I had about a half an hour left or less uh, is that you saw that strong flame burning. It always gets really intense just before the end, and then goes away. It's time to shut her down. 
So let me switch gloves. Okay, I've got some welding gloves on. Now remember, we've got a 35 gallon barrel inside a 55 gallon barrel here. That's our stove. This is the top of the 35 gallon drum. Pretty blue flame there. Yeah, it looks about right. Now I just took the top off of a wash tub full of sand and wood ash. Of a barrel of chocolate. And a couple hours cooling time. 